that was down the whole time. Wonderful. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey and this is my friend Kelly. Hey. And we are here at Kelly's new house that she has purchased. And we are here because this house was kind of a hoarder's house, right? Yeah, very much so. So tell us about the house and kind of the history of it a little bit and what you guys found when you moved in. Perfect. So this house was originally owned by three sisters and so the intent was that each sister would have their own floor level of the house and so each floor of the house has its own kitchen, laundry room, bathroom, and a couple of bedrooms and they cleared it so full of stuff that by the time that the third sister moved here she had to buy a double wide oh to put gosh. on the property to live in because this house was full. Oh my goodness. So we bought it back in April and it was really fun to like go through and see just unraveling different eras and decades of clothes and gardening stuff and canning. And we haven't gone through the attic before. So yes. And so that is what we're going to do today. We're going to take you with us. We're going to look in the attic for the first time on camera with you and see if we can find some treasures. So let's go in. Okay. <laughs> Should. This is like, I think it's 70s does pretty. a lot of like Victorian inspired uh -huh. It'd be stuff. super pretty to like the lace. Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna have to try this one on. Yep. Hey, these, this is a brand. Some Janssen. Some 70s oh. Janssen bell bottoms. Treasure here. Brand new pair of Levi's 501s. They're, oh, they're small. 27, 28s. Shoot, those are small. Look at how cool. Those are awesome. Dug the boxes out of the attic so that yeah <laughs> she's the strong one not me muscles so, so that we could be out in the air and not as hot and stuffy and dusty, and dusty. so we're gonna start looking through 
Um, hopefully find some gems. I can already see this fabric is really cute. Cowboys. Flannel. Cowboy flannel. It's coming down, you guys. Okay. Got some checks. Except I think there's only one. Baby promise one and board me gin. Juggle with a knife and you won't win. Money? Oh, what is it? Oh, play money! <laughs> Dang it! We were, we were scammed. Oh, that's a Didn't make it past your bathroom blow. Oh, oh, this is something. Okay. Dane, get up here. <laughs> it has a pinup girl. Oh. <laughs> this is nice. cool. <laughs> I found you the tie of your dreams. Get up here. Where are you? It's not even here. Okay, yeah. check it out. Yeah, okay. Do you want to hold it and look at it? I better not. I got dirty. Okay. Yes. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> look yes. at her. Oh. She's perfect. She's what I wanted. <laughs> oh, this is my next church goer for sure. <laughs> oh, this is it. I told you it would be worth oh, it. Oh, this is, yes. This is my treasure of a lifetime. I love You're it. You're welcome. I dug through the mouse poop box for you. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> well, rock with me until the dawn. Shake it, baby. Well, thanks so much for letting us come, Kelly, and dig through all of the treasure. I think we came away with some winners. We found some awesome things, and I can't wait to take them home and show you. So yeah, thank you again. It was so much fun, and we might have to come back. Yes, for sure. We'll find more treasures here. No, for sure. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. See ya. Okay, we are back at my house with a big old pile of stuff. <laughs> so much fun taking you guys with me to explore the hoarder house and its treasures of vintage. So I thought I would show you a few of the things that I came home with. There's no way I can show you all of it in one video. There's so much, so much goodness. So I'm just gonna highlight a few of the standouts for you. So some of them you've probably seen like while we found them in the moment and then we were there most of the day so I didn't film the entire day so there's some things that you probably did not see during the footage of 
the house. So I'm going to show you the things that I got the most excited about. Okay, first of all, you may remember this tie. It looks quite unremarkable, just a cool skinny tie, but wait, there's more. <laughs> It is a peekaboo pinup tie. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. It's so cute. I couldn't believe it. So yeah, we've uh, had this on our minds for several years now to find one. And I know that you can get them on eBay or Etsy, um, but I mean, they're around anywhere from 65 and up. So yeah, I was super excited to find one in the bottom of a box in the attic of that house. So cool. Can't believe it. In the attic, this really pretty blue and white and red checkered dress. Perfect for summer. So cute. This one I think is probably 50s. It's so funny how some of the clothes up there looked, you know, like old and dusty and then right underneath there was something that was this vibrant and bright and perfectly white and untouched almost. Crazy. I feel like this is going to fit me. I'm real excited to get this one washed and try it on. There was also a lot of cool menswear in the attic. That was pretty much the bulk of what was up there, I would say. It was kind of like men's menswear and, and jeans and only one of the sisters was married. So I'm guessing they belonged, it all belonged to her husband. I don't really know. And we also found a lot of kids clothes, which was also strange because none of the sisters had any children. So I'm really not sure like whose kids those were for or where they came from or if they were just collecting them just in case or what. <laughs> I don't know, but okay, I'll show you some of the men's wear I found. Some awesome vacation shirts. This one doesn't have a tag, so I'm not quite sure, but has really cool buttons. They're like wooden. And the material super vibrant, like island and sailboats and stuff. Very cool. It's kind of, it's really nice. It's kind of like a cotton sateen type of a fabric there. And another awesome vacation shirt. The tag Waikiki 7s, 100% polyester. I'm guessing this is probably 70s. Um, has a a nice broad pointy collar but this one's cool and it's also really light and airy so hopefully even though it's polyester won't be too too hot for the summer lastly i think this is my favorite one look at this awesome souvenir shirt from jamaica very cool montego bay it says it says take her to jamaica where the rum comes from <laughs> Very cool, the tag, it says, everything for ship and shore, cruise shop, Montego Bay, Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, this one's a fun one. It's, it's a nice soft cotton, maybe a cotton rayon. Along those lines, eh, awesome, vintage 1950s men's swimming trunks. So I'll see what I can do. The elastic in here is quite crumbly. I can, I can hear it crackling. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to salvage these or not, but either way, very cool. We've been on the hunt for some cute vintage swim shorts. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do with these ones. Very cool. Also found in the attic, this pretty like tiki print dress. I am so excited. So we can be kind of matchers in our vacation tropical wear. Um, this one, it looks really good. There's just a little bit of fading at the tops of the shoulders. But other than that, it's got side metal zip. Pretty sure this one's 1950s. Very cute. Um, it looks like it has like some box pleats. I'm real excited to get this one cleaned up and try it on. It looks like it's gonna fit. I hope so found another super cute summery top. Look at this blue gingham. It's so cute. It might be too small. I'm not sure. We'll have to see kind of how it goes. It, it looks like it might be quite small, but I'll soak it. I'll wash it. We'll see if it will fit because it's really, really cute. Also found in the attic, uh, 
this lime green and green gingham little, I don't know, I'm guessing it's a costume. Um, it's really well made. It's definitely, see like even the underskirt, super cute with the lace up. It does have a metal zip. It looks, the construction of it looks to be 1950s, um, possibly homemade, I'm not sure. Uh, but let me know if you've seen anything like this because this is a new one to me. I'm not sure if it's a costume, if it is some kind of like a, like a performance type of an outfit. Like, yeah, I'm just not sure. It's, it's too short to be like a swing dancing dress, I think. It has a really short skirt, so I'm not quite sure, but it's really cute and I had to, I had to grab it. <laughs> This is this amazing 1960s, possibly early 70s dress. <laughs> you can't really see how awesome the sleeves are, but they're like bell sleeves kind of. The green polka dots, it is just amazing. It totally is giving me like Megan Draper vibes. Yeah, I'm thinking late 60s probably for this one. Super cute. I was thinking it would be fun to just do a 60s look and this is the perfect dress to do it. So yeah, I, I had to grab it. Even though it's not my my usual style, I, I just, I had to save it. I couldn't let this one go. So I also took another look around the basement. I wasn't able to film that down there. It's It was like a little bit towards the end and we were in a hurry, but I did find some more pieces down there that are amazing, so I thought that I would show you here too. First up is this super pretty 1940s dress. It, it feels like feels like rayon, has a side zip. It does have a little bit of damage, but most of it seems to be right on the just on the seams. So I can just go ahead and redo those do those seams and it should be good. It has really cool buttons. I'll see if I can show you. But yeah, I just love it. I love the colors. It's such a fun, funky print and really, really flowy, really nice fabric. It does have some little shoulder pads as well. So awesome. A few more from the basement. Here's another kind of polka dot dress. This one is 50s. I love these green buttons. I love the rainbow polka dots. It's so cute. Has a side zipper. Um, I didn't see the belt, but here's the other thing. I've got to go back and look because there was a box of belts and I'm pretty sure some of them go to some of these dresses. So I'm going to have to check out the belt situation if I can make it back over there. So yeah, I thought this one was really pretty super cute in really really good shape just a nice cotton shirtwaist dress here's another one from the basement beautiful red i love these front pockets the double buttons down the front it does have a few buttons that are missing hopefully i can find some similar to these black ones and if not i can always just replace all of them with something similar um, the tag on this one says Lenberry. There are shoulder pads. I believe this is this is a 1940s dress and it looks like it's gonna fit. It may be a tiny bit big, we will see, but I'm super excited to wear this one. Another fun find from the attic. Look at this apron. It is so cute. I love the teapot and the teacup. I love the rickrack. The colors are great had to grab this you guys you know i have a thing with vintage aprons i have a million of them all of a sudden but this one is so unique i had to add it to my collection another from the basement find look at this cute robe i've told you a while ago i've been on the hunt for some vintage robes this one is chenille fabric i love it i love the colors it is super cute it has a few seam separations but other than that I think I can get it soaked and whitened up and repair those seams and it's gonna be such a cozy robe I'm so excited another amazing find from the basement look at this beautiful green 
40s dress. It could be late 30s, I'm not positive. It does have the middle side zipper. Um, it has these gorgeous little pom-poms on the collar. I love the print. It's so vibrant and such pretty fabric. Uh, this one is going to a special friend and I hope she loves it. I'm so excited to give this one to her. I think it'll fit her perfectly. It's gonna be great. Next up is this amazing ivory suit, cream suit. Has covered buttons. I'm pretty sure this one's 1940s. Look at that jacket. The cut of it is gorgeous. It has really pretty lace details on the collar. It has the matching skirt. Fingers double crossed that this one will fit. I love it. I sure hope that it will. It looks like it could be, could possibly be a little small. We'll see. It has a label, Lady Barrington of New York. There you go. And this is in really good shape, you guys. The lining is all intact, no rips whatsoever. I am so excited to get this one cleaned up and try it on. Oh, please. I hope it fits. Another one from the basement of the house is this gorgeous Moto Day butterfly print with the matching belt. It looks like a little bow, so cute. This is a favorite, it does have an underarm, little rip right there, but I think I can patch that and it will totally be good to wear. Here you can see the tag, Moto Day. I love this one, you guys. This. It might be a favorite. I don't know. There's so many treasures. I can't even believe it. Oh, they're so good. Also from the basement is this dress I'm wearing today. It's so cute. I love the fabric. It's like, it's very kind of atomic looking to me. It has these little starbursts of different colors. I think they're flowers. I'm not really sure. Oh, but I love the green and brown and yellow. I love this collar. I'm pretty sure this, is, this one is a 40s. Uh, maybe early 50s and it had it needed some help like it, did, it was missing all of the buttons so I replaced the buttons I shored up some of the seams repaired under the arms added buttons and it's good to go I love it so much it's super soft possibly like a silk rayon fabric very sheer and nice and flowy I'm in love with it Next up is this 50s. It's kind of like a bat wing, three quarter sleeve, turquoise fabric, but it has also little colors, other colors shot through, kind of like little rainbow colors. Really a, like a good 50s silhouette with a super gathered skirt. Very flowy, I'm excited. Totally gonna wear it this fall. Next up is this gorgeous 1940s dress. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have just seen this one. I just posted a look in this one, just barely, over the last few days, and it is so pretty, you guys. I have never seen, it's so unique. I've never seen kind of like this combination of solids and color, and I love it. It's so pretty. It's super flattering, the way that this is cut, and then also with the way that the fabric lays super flattering and pretty. Uh, the label says Marcy Lee Dallas soap and water fabric, unconditionally washable. So it feels like and looks like a linen to me. This one is a favorite too. I just can't even choose. It has these beautiful kind of like mother of pearl buttons. Oh, it's just, it's one of the good ones for sure. These flowy sleeves, can't even get over it. So if you have not seen those photos, hop over to my Instagram. I will link that for you so you can check this dress out in action. It's so pretty on. I love it. Next up, we have another amazing 1940s dress. This one has all the little details that just make it so special. I love it so much. The way that the buttons go, it has the original belt. It has this cool like draped over pocket. The fabric is super nice and flowy. It feels feels like a silk rayon maybe. Uh, the little turned up cuffs on the sleeves, I just, it's so good and it fits. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm really excited to wear this one. It's a really pretty navy color. I'm not sure if that's picking up 
on camera, but it's it's a really pretty navy. It did have some fading uh, when I washed it, and so it, it kind of looks a little bit purple in some lighting, but such a cool design. I'm so excited to wear it. Also found some cool, like unopened, new old stock, like makeup and some cleaning supplies. So while I'm not gonna necessarily use these things, I still thought they were really cool to just have and as maybe like as a display piece. So let me show you. So we have some Comet, handy dandy it says. <laughs> and it's like in these little tiny, a bathroom bundle it says, little tiny things of Comet. There's the label. And then this one I could not leave behind. It is the Pink Gem Mild Velvety Lotion for Dishes. <laughs> it also, but it also says for fine fabrics. So I guess multi-purpose, but look how cute it is. I could not even. It says 33 cents for this beautiful pink bottle of dish soap. Also some awesome <laughs> creams and makeup. This one is Avon Unforgettable Perfumed Skin Softener. It's in a really pretty pink container. Look how cute. And we have Jergens All Purpose Face Cream. The label for Jergens I think is the almost exactly the same even today. Um yeah, this one is still full. <laughs> um but the bottle's really pretty. It's like milk glass. I love it. Another one, this one is also Avon, pretty yellow glass bottle, Forever Spring. I'm scared to smell it. It looked a little iffy. I think, I think we'll just go ahead and leave this one closed. <laughs> Lastly in makeup is this Heather Rouge Theatrical, it says. This one I believe is a 1950s says it blends naturally with your skin tone. So I've seen these before. Uh, a few friends that have vintage makeup collections have have this, but this one, you guys, it's never been used. So let me just show you. So here it is inside. It has the original little poof applicator, has a paper in place there, which is an ad, it looks like, for a hair product. One set at home with new Joe Kerr quick set wave set 15 cents. And then here is the product itself. Such a pretty hot pink blush. I mean it's li it's literally untouched. It doesn't really have a smell. I'm real tempted. <laughs> Maybe I'll swatch it. We'll see. Either way, such a cool collectible little makeup item to have. It's so pretty. Last item, but certainly not least. Look at this amazing lamp, you guys. If that's not a flying saucer, I don't know what is. It's so cool. This is a 1950s Dazer UFO lamp. Literally, that's what it's called. So cool. It works. This is the on off switch, but it also you can move it up and down, like lower it, raise it on this pole, and it is so cool. And it spins all the way around. Fiberglass underneath is in really great shape. There's a few little cracks in it, but I mean, overall, oh, this thing is so space agey, atomic, cool. I can't even get over it. Like, yes, this is. This is it, guys. This is the coolest lamp ever. That's all I'm gonna have time to show you. I don't want this video to be two hours long, but there's so much more, you guys. I found so many treasures. Special, huge thank you again to Kelly, and I will link her things below. She has a YouTube channel. It's brand new, but she's gonna take you through the renovations of that awesome house so you can see on her YouTube channel where they've purchased the house. She does a little walkthrough when they very first are were like bought it and were 
starting to assess the situation in there. And she also does really cool DIY projects, home improvement projects. So if you're interested in that, you are going to want to check out her channel and I will link it for you in the I and below as well as her Instagram. And she is there at frugal family farm. So I'll link her info. You're going to want to check it out. She's a sweetheart and she does some really fun projects. Thank you so much for coming along on our little, I guess, vintage hoarder pick. <laughs> I hope that you had fun. Let me know if you want to see more from this house. I could do another haul all on its own, just of clothes and items that I've picked from this amazing, amazing honey hole of a house. <laughs> so <laughs> let me know if you want to see more. Also in the pipeline, there's some fun ones coming up. I've gotten tons of questions on my Instagram about how I wash my vintage clothes and care for the fabric and things like that. So I got a whole bunch to wash. And so I might as well show you at that point kind of how I do that. And these ones, I can show you the works, how to wash, how to get smells out, how to get stains out. So we're going to do that coming up here soon. So if you are not subscribed already, you're going to want to do so. I would love to have you stick around for more of our vintage fun. If you like vintage hauls, give this one a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. What was your favorite item that I found? It's so hard to choose you guys. There was so many good ones. So I'm overjoyed, even though I have a huge mess everywhere. It's a good mess. It's a good problem to have. And I'm so, so grateful to Kelly again for letting us come and pick at her home. <sighs> She's just the sweetest. So thanks again for watching. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye. Baby, promise one and board me, Jim. Juggle with